So man, what's your favorite dirty food, you know? A bit of a hunger filler. Yeah, look, if I'm on a night out in the town, I love me some Korean barbecue, mm. but I also love a good juicy burger. I know what you're talking about. I can't split between the two. I just don't know what can do that. What if we got a hibachi grill? Yeah, yeah, get some beef, get some cheese. I like where you're going. Get some buns, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Korean, Korean barbecue, barbecue wagyu sliders. sliders. Good, yeah. So let's prep this meat here. We've got approximately 750 grams JC Wagyu flat iron steak. Marbling on this beef is ridiculous. It's got an official marbling score of four to five. And this again is what you're looking for when you walk into the butcher and you're wanting to do some high quality meats. That nice grand marbling there. We're gonna to wanna to portion our meat size appropriately. So we're looking to do square portions here to go straight onto the hibachi grill. Six to eight centimeters on one side, slicing down, giving a nice even cut. And we're gonna to wanna to repeat that. So when you're cutting your meat, it's really important to have a bitch and dragon because the spirit of the dragon flows back into the dead cow and breathes uh, the fire of life. It's really what we're all about here at Smoke and Dagger Barbecue. This is what we're looking for. See, you know, not perfect, but again, you're just getting that brilliant marbling coming through. We are expecting some shrinkage here. So because we're doing this hot and fast, we're gonna to wanna to adjust the thickness accordingly. If you can see that they're on a bit of the chunkier side, just run your knife down through the middle. That's gonna ensure we have nice, even cooking along the meat and we're not gonna burn or overcook these steaks. Medium sear. When you're happy with all those, put them to one side and say a quick blessing to the uh, dragon gods as they help you on your way to a beautiful hibachi grill barbecue dinner. With salt. So with this steak here, we're leaving this come up to a nice room temperature before going on to the grill. And the reason we're using a salt and, and salt alone here is just to keep things and the flavors nice and simple. Oh yeah, salting meat, everyone's favorite pasta. So once your meat's all salted there, just set it aside to one second and uh, it's almost ready to go on the grill. You're looking at about maybe 20, 30 minutes just to rest it, make sure you see a sweating condensation on the surface of your meat. Right, so you've made it this far. First things first though, every slider needs a healthy amount of cheese sauce. So we're using the Anita cheese sauce. This is just something we get locally. This saves you melting a whole bunch of cheese. Comes out in a nice, very artificial yellow. So it's gonna come out looking like that. And we put this over the cold side. Given we've divided now a hot side and a cold side, we can let this sort of get up to a nice hot ready temperature while we continue on the beef. Go down to our Wagyu steak. So this again, so iron steak, ready for a hot, fast, Korean barbecue style experience at home. Now we don't have any soju here, which is a real shame really. So I've just been informed that we do have some soju here, which really will help this whole dish come together. Because if you've ever been sober when you've left a Korean barbecue, you've obviously had a shit time. Just one by one, going in and we're just forming this, this nice sort of, you know, even layer of steak. Put our cheese off to one side and we're going to flip it. So each side will get evenly cut it for a brown caramelized color. After that, we've got some homemade bacon, which will really set these burger sliders off. A few moments later. So the next step, once you've got your Wagyu steak searing off there, you want to get your soju shot. And what you want to do is make sure it's right up to the top. Okay, so again, just take that soju shot, you know, maybe two fingers on one side, thumb on the other, knock it back and you want to go right to the bottom of the glass. So now you can see I've got this nice empty glass here with no soju in it. That's how you know you've had a good soju shot. So we're going to turn this Wagyu steak over and you can see that just beautiful brown coming out. Anyone that says you should only flip a steak once really is a savage and doesn't spend much time in front of a barbecue. Flip it as many times as you need for it to look perfect. 
What nice. Western menthol blue, the the chef that really inspired and designed a lot of these barbecues. I guess when he was looking to produce an affordable, functional, easy to transport, outdoor usable barbecue, he was really trying to target the the camper, the outdoors type. But my question is, Heston, when the f have you gone outdoors, mate? You're so bald. I'd be worried you'd be getting SPF 50 all on your steak, let alone the excess cancer radiation from all of this carcinogenic coal. So Heston, I really wanna know if you actually use this product or if you went glamping one time and you thought, gee, it'd be nice to make some money off these glamping idiots, of which mutually inclusive, of course. So let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Right, so today the last element bringing this all together is our cosmos barbecue sauce sweet smoke barbecue sauce so they try to capture those authentic flavors of cooking on a campfire grill so we've got the platform there being a brioche bun we've just toasted that bun very lightly almost like heston walking outside on a 22 degree british day we're taking first our wagyu steak look at that almost as if it's meant to be there then we're going to get our bit of home style cured bacon sitting on top and we get our cheese sauce just ever so flamboyantly like that, that, that. <laughs> just sitting there nicely and the last little finishing factor here barbecue sauce just tying the whole thing together and that is a job done now take the top of your brioche Slam it down on top of your bun. Put a toothpick in the middle and tell me that doesn't look like Christmas. Wagyu beef slider. Also known as the bald burger. <laughs> Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off or get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running now, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your cloud. It be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, I'm legend bound, can't stop me now.